David, yeah, attorneys on this case are calling the settlement historic and monumental, giving a whopping $600 million to the people who were impacted by the Flint water crisis. We negotiated with the needs of the many, the needs of the many in opposition to the interests of the few. It's been a long time coming for residents in Flint who have endured years of poisonous water and health issues due to the state's neglect. The Flint water supply was converted from the Detroit water system to the much more corrosive Flint River in 2014 to save money, causing the crisis. Most of the money will go towards settling claims filed on behalf of children in Flint. The settlement breaks down like this. After attorney fees and expenses, children in Flint who were exposed will get 79.5% of the money. 64% of that money will go especially to children under five. Adults and property owners will get 18% of the payout and businesses will get 5%. And finally, 2% will go to programmatic relief. Today, attorneys on the case say it's a step closer to justice, adding that the deal was aimed at helping the most vulnerable. And we can't do divine justice. We can't go back years ago and make sure that this didn't happen. This has happened to this community that has already been very uh, devastated in many other ways. And then this, upon everything else they went through, has happened. But what we can do through civil litigation is provide some semblance of justice. Attorney Ted Leppold says $12 million of the money will go to support the school children of Flint and to provide services to assist them. Another $35 million will be set aside for minors who choose to participate in the settlement later on in life. Adding that residents who do not agree with this settlement can opt out and pursue other legal options. Trishelle Young, another attorney who has worked on this case for the last 18 months, says this settlement is just the beginning of the end. Because we're headed now in the right direction. As Ted and Michael indicated, there is more to happen. There is more to occur. There are more defendants that we are pursuing because they are accountable for their actions. And the attorney general's office told us that much more needs to be done before that money can be dispersed and they need the formal settlement settlement to come out and that could be another 45 days. Reporting in Flint, Rachel McCrary, WNEM TV5.